What's up internet friends, Lyle from Mountain Tough here. We're at the range. Uh, we're building a dope chart for our hunting rifle. Um, and so I'm gonna guide you through the process that I use. You can find lots of different videos on this. This is just what I've found uh, works well for me. So what you're gonna need to do this is you're gonna need a rifle that's zeroed at 100 yards. We just did that. Uh, we also collected the velocity of our bullet. So we used a chronograph to do that as well. So I uh, wrote that number down. And so once you have that information, um, you can go on ahead and we're gonna start by building the custom profile in our ballistic solver. For this one, we're gonna be using the SIG BDX app um, paired with our Kilo 10K range finding binos. So once I have that information, I can go on ahead and I'm gonna build that profile. All right, so we're gonna start by creating a new profile for a gun. Go to the bullet library, get this bullet, it's a Sierra bullet, 107 green, that's a G7 profile. All right, now we knew our velocity was 27.54, it's a zero to 100 yards, our twist rate is 17.5. All right. We knew that our side height is 2.25. All right, we'll be shooting in MRADs today. Our mills. We can go on ahead and save that. So that's going to want to sync this right over to the um, range finding binos, which is fine. But what we're going to use is we're going to come in here and we're going to hit the range card. And this essentially is going to give us our first holdover at 1,000 yards. So we're going to start there. Um, so the process will be, we'll shoot this, and then we know that we're probably going to have to make some adjustments to our BC. Um, BC can be really complicated, we won't get into all the, the ins and outs of that, but what we're trying to do is match our velocity to the BC that is coming out of our rifle, which quite often is different for, for every rifle. The BC that you find on the box, um, or that comes in these solvers, is traditionally like the ideal BC at a set velocity. Since our velocity in gun is going to be set up a little bit different, we're going to have a little bit different BC. So our goal today is to match the velocity to the BC coming out of this rifle. And we're going to do that by shooting um, some yardages in and out from 1,000 all the way down to 100 yards. All right, we're at the gun. We're going to shoot our first shot here at 1,000 yards. It looks like the solver is calling for an elevation adjustment of 8.8. .8. Uh, mills so uh, we're gonna dial that to the scope and shoot that and so the goal will be to essentially see where that impact is where that hit is and we're gonna adjust our um, our turret until we get on target with an impact so we'll see how that goes I do carry um, just a note card with me so that way I can record some of this I've often found sometimes you come to the range you do a bunch of stuff you kind of forget what you're doing so I do take, uh, keep a notebook with me kind of at all times you ready all right 8.8 .8 center target Just All over right. the top. So it looked like the wind was good. We were just high. So I like to use my reticle to measure uh, measure the mist. So that was eight tenths high. So we're gonna drop this down. We're gonna shoot this for seven point uh, seven point eight. So we're gonna take a full mill out of it and see how that does. Low five o'clock. That correction was just a little bit low. Left and right look okay? Is it a little right still? Still a little right. Okay. Yeah. All right, so that uh, we got an impact that was at 8.3. Um, so what we'll do now is we'll actually adjust our BC in here to uh, make this so that our uh, range card will show 8.3 on our elevation adjustment. All right, so we're gonna come in here, go back to our gun profile right here. And we're gonna come down and hit our PC and increase this number, 2.9. Let's see what that does. So, oh, so that was that was too much. That took it all the way down to, oh no, 8.3. So yep, that was perfect. Got a thousand yards there. So now this is gonna be a call of 8.3. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot that one more time just to confirm that that impact was correct. But now our dope is now aligning with the velocity coming out of our gun. And we adjusted this uh, BC to meet our impact, which was 8.3. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot this one more time just to confirm that that was correct. And then we'll move on to 
uh, 900 yards. Yeah. All right, so that's two impacts at 1,000 yards. All right, so we're gonna move on to 900 yards. So this is calling for an elevation adjustment of 6.9. All right, so that looked like an impact. Looked like maybe still could use just a touch more wind, but um, kind of bottom right uh, impact there. So we're going to go ahead and write down and confirm that uh, 6.9 is a good dope for 900 yards. All right, so now uh, we've got an impact at 900 yards. We're going to move to 800 yards and confirm that our elevation adjustment would be correct uh, coming out of our solver. So this is calling for a shot of 5.8 on the elevation adjustment. Hit. All right. So that looked like it was dead center. Um, that was 5.8, so I'm gonna just jot that down. All right, now we're gonna go to 700, which is calling for 4.7. Impact. Right, now we're gonna go to 600 yards. 600 is calling for 3.7. Yeah. yeah. Look looked like us left edge. Yeah. Left edge, 7 o'clock. Yeah, all right. So it feels like the winds died down, but that was a impact at 600 yards on our first shot at 3.7. Adjustments, I'm going to note that. Impact. Impact. Yeah. All right, so that was a confirmed impact at 500 yards with an elevation adjustment of 2.7. Wind hold was uh, pretty much straight up. Now we'll go to 400 yards and we'll uh, shoot that guy for an adjustment of 1.9. 400 is good, that is 1.9. Record that, now we'll go to 300 yards. That's calling for uh, a solution of 1.14, so 1.1. All right, so that was confirmed at 300 yards, 1.1. All right, so we adjusted, uh, started out this morning, got our velocity uh, of our bullet, uh, created a custom profile in our solver, came to 1,000 yards. We just find starting at 1,000 yards is gonna give you the most accurate set of data as you work closely. Um, you know, obviously we would never shoot animals at that distance, but this is just the, the process that we work through to uh, build out our dope. Started out a thousand, shot back in, made that BC adjustment. Um, and then this, yeah, this BC is held up true. Uh, we got all of our environmentals from our, our binoculars here, our range finding binos, dumped those into the app. I'm going to record those conditions inside of my notes here just for reference. Our next step now is we'll, uh, we'll go on ahead and we're gonna shoot a series of other targets at various distances just to 100% confirm that this dope is now correct. So uh, I would take this with me hunting. Uh, obviously the, that dope loads directly into these binos so you can range it and shoot it in that space. And then I would also print out and keep just a hard dope inside of uh, my bino harness as well, just in case for some reason, maybe my battery dies or something like that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my process for building uh, a dope. There, obviously, there's a lot of different ways to do it out there. This is just what I found that works really well.